Well, Anno is broken. Even with the old mod loader, after playing two and a half hours, um, it broke again and the save game is corrupted in the cloud and our last local save is from half an hour ago and I'm not interested in that anymore. So we're going to return to Total War Warhammer. There was a major patch by Creative Assembly and another major patch by Radius and apparently the AI has been improved significantly. It's now extremely potent on very hard so we're going to try that one out. We're going to start a new one. Question As just I is, Maraz, should I, I play Carl Franz again? <laughs> I mean, that would be a bit hilarious if <laughs> we play him again, <laughs> over and over and over again. But then again, his campaign is very interesting. It's a bit complicated. It's quite difficult because you get attacked from all sides. So it's just, that's a great way to play Total War. If we play Lizardman, we only have two enemies. Well, three, so that's that's a bit lame. So very hard. Endgame difficulty. Attack. Attack. Let's do two hundred. Diplomacy for sir. What? When checked, factions involved in endgame scenarios can make peace deals and confederations with other factions. Enabling this will reduce the difficulty of the official scenarios. Um. Well, I like the idea. Of, for example, the dwarves, if you all have been a friend of the dwarves and they are going to make a peace treaty with you instead of stomping you when they're going to take the Book of Grudges and start assimilating all of, of well, Warhammer. So we're going to enable that one. Ultimate Crisis, yeah, we're going to enable all of them. Oh my goodness. This will be total um, annihilation. Time limit unlimited, incremental auto saves, blah, blah, blah. Mm, done. Perfect. So let's start a new one. This time we're going to be a bit more aggressive. We're going to take over the Empire faster. We're going to conquer our electors. If they don't want to be our friends, they're going to become our servants. Oh, and his faction effects have changed. Prestige gained from battles. 10% can be movement range for all armies. Darn it, that's great. Where I changed nothing, I just loaded all the 120 mods or something from before when we played last. Hopefully this will work out. From the icy sea of claws in the north to the soaring black mountains in the south, the, individuali <laughs> the individuality of the Empire's provinces is much defined by its landscape. Its vast forests provide food and the materials of production, whilst wide rivers and traversable valleys facilitate trade and transport. Yet, at times, the land itself seems to strive against progress, concealing monsters and enemies of all sorts among its craggy passes and dark groves. Peril awaits within and without, but the nations of men have thus far proved equal to the challenge. By the way, there is um, something extraordinary going on, and that is that the AI is not only more aggressive, but also it now will not camp in cities the anymore. The AI will not be afraid to lose troops now. At least Creative Assembly claim that they properly changed the AI. And Radius said that he and his team also changed the AI in a significant way. So we're going to As put that one to the test. Crown. Raise your weapons. A uh, close victory? Are you serious? Why would this be a close victory? That's ridiculous. Yeah, we're going to do this manually. In your series, we have Reichsguard, Karl Franz, and <laughs> that's not a close victory. <laughs> it's a clear and devastating victory. of the Empire! Finding rain, sir! Rexguard Knights! For Helden Hammer! Ah! For the Warhammer! To arms, men! 
is so smooth right now we have 80 90 fps um total war warhammer greatly benefits from a 40 90 up and up to double the fps um that's ridiculous and great so the rtx 40 generation gives it titanic boost in performance for total war we are ready hold fire fellow by Ulrich's wrath mortar by Ulrich's wrath load it sir Oh, I, I deactivated fire at will. Oh, I'm a noob, sorry. I thought I deactivated them running away when the enemy arrives. Oh dear. Call France! Great swords! Of course, we will be able to record auto HDR now, which is great. Rexguard Knights! Take the ground! Sigma! Understood! Charge! Taking position! Great swords! To us, the foe! Hand gunners! The Empire endures! Standing by! Tag the ground! My subjects call! Charge! Ready? Die. Yes, Ready. General! Ready! Yes, General! Go! Sigma calls! Get them! For the Emperor! At speed! Understood! We serve friends! Quick march! Get to the enemy! Yeah, friendly fire is real. <laughs> it, sir! To battle! By Ulrich's wrath! Spot us the target! Ready for war! Prepare for combat! We are Sigma's heirs! Rexguard Knights! The Empire endures! Hand gunners! Swordsmen! Attack! Sigma guides us! Pursue the foe! Yes, sir! We obey! Understood! For Altdorf! Stomping car. I was about to say that's a bit ridiculous. Moving now. The Helden Hammer. Let's go. So Creative Assembly massively changed the way that units gain experience. Before, it was only important whether you had um, a clear victory or pyrrhic victory or something, and now. Um, it's more important how many units you kill so even if you have a crushing defeat but if you manage to for example destroy 80% of your enemies something like that you're going to get a massive experience boost this should greatly improve the way that you can level even if you lose the um, battles so in theory that should be great right so not close victory but decisive I mean it's a bit ridiculous that Kalfrons suffered so much damage but he threw him on his ass, and if that animation comes up, then you have a bit of a problem. I command here. As is my right by Sigma's crown. Alright, uh, growth. Yeah, we're going for growth first. 
This is uh, quite important. And um, diplomacy. Do we have anything in terms of diplomacy? Um, yes. Non-aggressive pact. So, awesome. Stealing. Yes. Talabaklan. Right. Why not? Well. Oh wait. Non-aggressive pact. Goal. People we were going to attack. What? Maybe it's not a good idea. Yes. Oh. Maybe I'm going to plan to attack. Oh no. Vissanant doesn't want anything to do with it. Oh, okay. 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 Never mind. Ah. Yes. Uh, never mind. Because Vissanant we're going to probably take by force. So we can advance faster. I mean, we tr we tried the nice way, but it just takes ages, and then everybody's advancing on you. The demonic hordes from all sides, and the empires are not united, and then you just have problems. So we're going to deal with that faster. Of course, it's still going to take a couple of rounds since we're first going to have to solidify this region, and then we're going to take Marineborg by force if necessary. The battling I kind of liked it as a sort of buffer zone, but of course we had a massive problem that the elves just came up and destroyed everything, so that's a bit of a problem. Bring me to my map. Damn, this is so smooth. I mean, this is obviously um, you can't really experience this. Uh, first, YouTube is crushing anything that I upload with their algorithms, so whenever you watch something, it's not the same quality when I'm playing it. And on top of that comes that I'm playing with uh, VRR, an extraordinary technology that makes sure that your monitor refresh rate is the same than the FPS that you have in the game right now. So for example, right now I have 100 FPS and that means that my monitor is 100 hertz slash FPS. And that is a great feature, for example, um, as an individual. Um, if I have 30 FPS with VRR on an OLED with extremely low input lag, it feels like I'm playing a game with 50 FPS. And if I play with 100 FPS with uh, G-Sync slash VRR on an OLED, it feels like 144 to 160 FPS. I, I can't give you this because YouTube does not allow me to offer this VRR experience. And of course you'd need a VRR monitor slash TV. But if you can try to experience it yourself, it's great. It makes the game feel so smooth. It's just it's ridiculous. Okay, occupy. Grunburg, Emperor, yes, yes. Um, oh dear, that's not right. Where are all the modifications? Um, yeah, that's not right. Have they not loaded? Um, okay, I need to quit the game and where are all my modifications? Yeah, that's, that's not right.